conclusion. Let's be mm. honest about that. But we, I think we haven't here. We haven't really been honest and vociferous with the public. And so the public, the civil society, to some degree, has had to do that for us. Mm. I've been involved for a lot of years on providing evidence in court cases. Now, I have nothing to do with the action. I, mm. I always say I don't want to speak to the people who have done the action. I'll only speak to the barrister. And I will provide evidence on climate change. Mm. So I'm not interested in the action. There's very few academics provide that. So mm. they keep coming back saying, well, can you recommend anyone else? Because mm. I haven't got the time to do mm. it. No, I can't. I know very few other academics that will stand mm. up in court and be grilled by a barrister mm. about the issues to do with climate change. Mm. And that, they will try, of course, getting you somehow aligned mm. to the action. So mm. we can't do it. That's nothing to do with me. That's not what I'm finding evidence on. But why are there so few academics providing that? Why are there so few academics being vociferous about the policies the government pursue that I completely counter? Mm. And what I often hear privately is, you know, well, it's a move in the right direction. I mean, that's not the job for us as academics. We're not consultants. We're not NGOs. Mm. We should be saying it as we see it. Mm. And we may have different views, mm. but we should, we should have the courage to stand by our views mm. and the humility to change them if the information, is, if the information mm. we have or is, is wrong or we, we, we come to a different conclusion. Let's mm. be honest about that. But we, I think we haven't here. We haven't really been honest and vociferous with the public. And so the public, the civil society, to some degree, has had to do that for us. Mm.